Hi, it's Girish Srinivasan, registered physical therapist from Insta Physical Therapy again. Today we're going to talk about and uh, show you guys some exercises for top three uh, exercises for neck pain and also how to manage the Tex Neck Syndrome and what is the Tex Neck Syndrome. And that's the goal of today's uh, video episode. And this is the Tex Neck. Uh, look at Anu, my assistant, and how she is working with her phone and how much bending of the neck here. It's almost about six to eight inches uh, from where it's supposed to be. And this is how you see a lot of people using their phone. Even the kids, young kids at home, they sit in the, the sofa or the living room area, iPad or the cell phone. This is how exactly they use. Your head is supposed to be here on top of your shoulder. This is the way it's supposed to be. But the way you're using your cell phone or the iPad, you're putting about six to eight inches forward. So what happens is, I'm going to tell you guys or talk to you guys about some biomechanics, right? So this is where the head's supposed to be, the ear lobe. If you draw a straight line, it should come on top of the shoulder here, okay? So this is the ideal position for the head. So every one inch, your head goes forward. Human, adult human heads weighs about 17 to 20 pounds. So every inch the head goes forward, the muscles in the back of the neck here has to work 200% more for one inch. So with the Tex Neck Syndrome, you are almost six to eight inches forward. So you're working this muscles of the neck about 1,600 times more. Imagine what happens to those muscles when you're consistently using that way. Your demand is so much and there's so much mechanical disadvantage of that. Though that is called Tex Neck Syndrome. Then we're gonna talk about what's gonna happen uh, if you use that long. You're gonna start stiffening the muscles and also the joints are gonna stiffen up. If you keep doing that for a long time, you're gonna start irritating the nerves. That's gonna shoot the pain into the arm and causes other problems. So we will make sure that we don't do that too much. If you are using the phone, bring the phone up this position, rest your arms, bring the phone up higher and use it that way, not too close to you. Yeah, about there, that's a bit posture to kind of using the phone or the iPad, especially with the kids. You guys have to, parents have to be really careful with the kids using that way for a long time. We're gonna see about top three exercises for neck pain and um, how to take care of it, okay? The first one is called deep neck flexor muscles firing exercise. So, core muscles. People think usually core muscles means it's around only here. The core is all along the spine from the neck all the way to the tailbone. The small muscles which is close to the spine there, they are the core muscles. So how to work the core muscles of the neck? So it's called deep neck flexor firing exercise. So you can do it in sitting and also lying position. We're gonna start with the sitting position first. When you sit nice and tall, make sure there's a string pulling your head up towards the ceiling, nice and tall. Then you're gonna tuck your chin in. You can put your finger if you want, tuck your chin in. Yeah, and keep your mouth closed and then hold it there for about 10 seconds. And make sure you guys breathe nicely when you do that. You're feeling okay? Okay, and let it go. Okay, so this is one way to do this exercise. The same exercise can be progressed into lying position with lifting the head also. We're gonna see how we're gonna do. Anu, if you can just lie on the mat here for me. I'm just gonna move these things out. Okay, so here, what I want Anu to do is make sure comfortably lie down. Preferably this exercise should be done without the pillow. Now, Anu, I want you to tuck your chin down all the way, good, and then lift your head just off the bed. Good, and hold it there for about 10 seconds. And make sure you breathe nicely when you do that, and keep your mouth closed, and maintain the chin tuck, good, and then go down slowly. Okay, you can start with 10 seconds, even if 10 seconds start, you can start with five seconds, and you can slowly increase your time to 30 to 40 seconds if you want to. This is a very good deep neck flexor firing exercise. Let's do one more time. Step one, chin tuck. Step two, lift your head just off the bed. Doesn't matter how high you're lifting, don't try to lift too high, and make sure step three, breathe nicely, and hold. Maintain the chin tuck. When you hold for a long time, the chin will come up. You make sure you put the chin back in there and then go down nicely. That's good. That's the number one exercise. You can do in sitting also lying. Lying it's more harder because you're lifting your head up against gravity. You can sit up now, Anu. So the next exercise I'm gonna show you is basically a very simple active range of motion neck exercise, okay? So imagine how many times have you looked up in a day? Sometimes we go without looking up 
for days and months. When I asked my patients to look up the ceiling, they mainly roll their eyes and go up only a little bit there because they forgot how to look up, okay? Um, so basically, this is active range of motion exercise. You're gonna sit nice and tall again, and then you're gonna lift your head up and make sure, keep going, keep going, keep going, and the nose parallel to the ceiling. Then come back to neutral. And if you have any issues with uh, dizziness or anything like that, you have to consult your physician or your physiotherapist before doing these exercises. This is for uh, asymptomatic patients in terms of dizziness and vertigo and things like that. Now you're gonna rotate your head all the way to that. When you do that, make sure you don't rotate your trunk, your, your shoulder blades forward, then head all the way there. And if you want, you can use your hand to push a little bit to the end there, end range. Yeah, good, and don't rotate your trunk. See, you're rotating your trunk, there you go. And then come back to the other side. And again, this is not a stretch. We are just doing a mobility exercise to get the full range of the joints of the neck. Good, and then come back to neutral. Then I want you to go sideways, ear to the shoulder, without hiking your shoulders. Good, and the other side. Good, come back. Okay, thank you. So the very important movement is the extension because a lot of people don't extend at all. If you want to incorporate the extension into an exercise or with the full axial extension exercise, you can do something called diagonals. You can use, you can stand up here for me, Anu. You can use a ball. I'm going to use a medicine ball here. Doesn't matter how heavy it is. And uh, this is a six pound medicine ball. I'm going to ask Anu to hold on to this for me. Okay, Anu, keep your feet shoulder width apart. Then I want you to take the ball from here all the way to the other side and look up the ball, look up the ceiling and also the ball goes higher, more, more, more. And there, and I want you to go up the other side now. Okay, it's called standing diagonals. Ball higher, more, more, more. Keep going, keep going, keep going. There you go, be careful when you do this. If your balance is not good, you'll be off balance. So your safety is important. Now go to the other side. The standing diagonal, if you see, you're extending the whole spine here. So that kind of ex actual extension along with the neck extension with overhead activity, it's a very great exercise actually because we don't do a lot of overhead activities in our daily life either. And we have so many muscles to do the job. Thank you. So that's the extension. The last exercise for the neck, for the neck pain, is called neck isometrics, multiple angle or multi-angle neck isometrics. The objective of this exercise is to activate all the muscles around the neck, front, side and the back and in a good way without causing a lot of pain, a lot of movements. Okay, we call it isometrics because we are not moving any joints or changing the length of the muscle, but we are firing the muscles. I'm going to use a small plastic ball here. You can get this from Toys R Us or a dollar store for a couple of dollars here. You're going to use this ball. So Anu, I'm going to stand face, ask you to stand facing here and put this one over here and then try to use your forehead and keep your hands by the sides. Push that ball towards the wall and make sure you breathe nicely. Don't hold your breath and hold that contraction for about 10 seconds. Now you're working the muscles in the front of the neck there. Okay, let it go. Now, you're gonna stand facing me, then you're gonna keep the ball by the temple area and you're gonna push it against the wall there. Make sure you breathe nicely and hold the contraction for about 10-15 seconds. And if you get better, and you can also increase the duration based on your tolerance and the pain limit. Now, I want you to face that way and push it from, from the back of the head. And keep your shoulders relaxed, nice breathing and push it from the back of the head onto the wall. Good job, hold it for 10 seconds. And then turn the other way now. You're gonna put in your right temple right now. Good, and push it against the wall and hold it. So you're activating all the groups of uh, muscles around the neck there without moving too much, but firing them very well. This is a great exercise for the neck. Thank you, Anu. So, those, uh, these are the three exercises for neck pain you can do. And if you get any other symptoms like dizziness or shooting pain, please consult your physician or your community physiotherapist. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and also you can share it to your friends who are suffering from neck pain. And also make sure the adults and kids are not getting into the text neck syndrome posture and come out of that when you use your cell phones or iPads or laptops at home. And if you need any further help, please call us and we can help you out. Insta Physical Therapy, I'm Giri Srinivasan and this is Anurit.